Do you know that there are more stars in the Milky Way than the number of humans that have ever been born? That's super amazing, right? What is even more astonishing is that the Milky Way is just a tiny piece of the whole universe. It makes humans look so negligible that most astronomers are beginning to doubt if the Earth is the only giver of life in existence. There are 40 billion Earth-like planets around the Goldilocks zone, a zone where planets are not too close or too far away from their stars, making them inhabitable for life. When Neil Armstrong landed on the Moon, the whole world erupted in joy, not knowing that the Moon itself was just a fraction of the tip of the iceberg. The Milky Way will take you 200,000 years to cross at light speed. Thanks to our curiosity, we have discovered so many beautiful things, like a planet solely made of pure diamond, the presence of water on Mars, and beautiful shooting stars and nebulas. Though there is still a lot to be unfolded, high-resolution pictures of a glimpse of space have proven to us beyond doubt that space is more interesting and mysterious than we ever thought, and it has changed our perception completely. Now we know that not all stars are hot, fiery balls, but some stars called brown dwarfs are actually just as cool as a mug of warm tea. It is also now well known that when dead stars collide, they produce an incredible explosion that leads to the formation of gold, silver, and other precious metals. So the next time you are putting on a silver-lined necklace, you should look up to the sky and thank the stars. All these discoveries will not be achieved if not for telescopes. The immense struggles of astronomers in building the most efficient telescopes have made us the king of the galaxies. So sit back and enjoy as I narrate how two of the greatest telescopes ever produced revolutionized our knowledge of the universe. If you have yet to subscribe to this channel, kindly hit the subscribe button for more interesting videos. The idea of sending telescopes into space was born even before men started walking on the moon. German scientist Hermann Orberth Hubble has seen all of the Milky Way, our solar system. It is also a legendary observer with more than 1.3 million observations. 
even to locations more than 13.4 billion light years from the Earth. In 1994, the Hubble saw how comet Shoemaker, Levy 9, collided with Jupiter and took snapshots of the huge debris for us all to also see. Most people have fallen in love with the famous lovely image of the Eagle Nebula, nicknamed the Pillars of Creation, showing three pillar-like stars in space. We have the Hubble to thank for that image. The Hubble also proved Stephen Hawking right about the existence of black holes in space. In 2005, the Pluto twins were discovered by the Hubble. They are a set of moon named Nix and Hydra, graciously orbiting Pluto. In 2012, the Hubble showed seven primitive galaxies formed about 13 billion years ago, just 470 million after the Big Bang. In 2013, Hubble showed us water vapour erupting from the surface of Jupiter's favourite moon, Europa. Even as an aged telescope, well past its prime, the Hubble was the first telescope to observe in 2013 an asteroid breaking down and a cross-shaped pattern of light from an exploding star in space in 2015. The Hubble is just beyond amazing, and it can easily pass for one of the wonders of the modern world, but it still has its limits. As you all probably already know, astronauts are never satisfied. They produced a much even larger and better telescope, the James Webb Space Telescope. This telescope is a bang. The James Webb Telescope is a mega next-generation space telescope with a mirror about 13 feet long, twice the size of the Hubble's. It was manufactured by three of the biggest technologies in every telescope, and James Webb's mirror has one of the largest diameters, about 6.5 meters. It's made of beryllium coated with gold and weighs about 700 kilo. Beryllium is very strong and light and suits perfectly a spacecraft. James Webb is currently at the second Lagrange point and it can be considered an artificial planet as it orbits the sun. 1.5 million kilo away from the Earth, unlike the Hubble, which is still within the Earth's orbit. 
it possesses a deployable subshield, a cryogenic actuator, and lightweight optics. The hexagonal shape of Jane Webb allows for more mirrors and a larger area of light. It's just like a larger bucket of water would collect more rain. James Webb still has so much to give our world, just as the Hubble in its prime was not just any telescope, but a landmark in the quest for knowledge. Do you think it won't take long for James Webb to surpass the Hubble beyond our imagination? Comment below your thoughts. If you like our content, kindly hit the like and subscribe button for more interesting videos.